about who TrueView is and how TrueView works uh, with the conservation community and with museums. And this is going to be loosely based around the uh, themes of experience, uh, research, and innovation. So uh, for those of you uh, who have not heard of TrueView before, it's an American company who makes glazing materials for the fine arts market uh, worldwide, um, and particularly for conservation applications. Now, our glass and acrylic products have uh, been used in a wide variety of uh, museum situations and uh, with different artistic mediums, uh, including works on paper, paintings, textiles, and also for sealed microclimate cases. We've worked uh, with museums all over the world, and uh, those you see on the screen are just a small selection. Within uh, Tribu, there is a team who work directly with museums and conservators to develop products that will suit their requirements. And we all have different backgrounds. Mine uh, is particularly in conservation science. Now, um, traditionally, glass has been used as a glazing material. Uh, but it does uh, present several challenges. Um, now, breakage and uh, Weight can both be big issues if objects are going on loan. Um, and also, regular glass reflects about 8% of light. And then if you have an object that's framed with uh, old glass, there might be problems with sodium and potassium salts. Uh, a more lightweight and uh, less breakable alternative to glass is acrylic or plexiglass. Um, but this also presents its own challenges. Uh, there can be problems with reflections. Um, but for uh, conservation, uh, major issues can be the static charge that can build up where if, if it's been cleaned, um, or scratching that can occur with cleaning, or if um, a case is being uh, reused, or if it's going on loan. And then uh, traditionally, UV filtering acrylic uh, has been seen to have this yellow color cast, not quite that yellow that you see, but that's just an example. So by working with conservators and picture framers, uh, Tribu has developed new glazing products to overcome these previous issues. Um, and one of the products is Optium Museum Acrylic, which is lightweight, uh, it's shatter resistant, um, it's anti-static, it's abrasion resistant, um, it's non-yellowing, and it also blocks 99% of UV radiation. And it's anti-reflective, so it allows people to see the art itself and, and not themselves reflected back at them. So uh, to develop this product, uh, TrueView took a high-quality acrylic substrate um, that was uh, UV absorbing, uh, non-yellowing, and non-hazing. And then to this, uh, there were many optical layers applied. And these layers uh, will have different um, purposes. Some act on their own, uh, for example, the one to provide abrasion resistance, and then some work together, for example, the, one that, uh, or the, the ones that are involved with reflection reduction. So uh, the success uh, of these layers and um, the development of TrueView products can be broken down into three different areas. Uh, there is the um, sputtering process, which bonds the layers to the glass and acrylics um, at the atomic level. Um, the second are the materials used, um, for example, uh, tin oxide to help with static dissipation. And then the third is the characteristics of the layers themselves, such as depth and how they interact with each other. Um, for example, uh, this again, it's... Uh, showing a bit more about how the re reflections are reduced. So um, since this is a very brief introduction, I uh, have only really given you a quick overview of um, TrueView and one of our products. Um, but we actually do have uh, a whole range. Um, and they work with different conservation situations. Um, what you can actually see on the screen at the moment uh, is an image of our specifier. Um, we give these uh, to conservators and to museums to help them make decisions about their glazing needs. Um, and it's part of a larger sample kit 
um, that we send out for free anywhere in the world. Um, so I'm just going to wrap up and say thank you for listening. Uh, we're very, very happy to be sponsoring um, this conference. And if you would like one of these specifiers and a sample kit, come find me. I'm here all three days. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much.